We're talking about interior design with our interior design correspondent, David Santiago. Hello. Hi, Donna. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, my love. What? Hello. Exactly. Hello. <gasps> Happy anniversary to you. Thank you so much. These are fabulous. What better way to anoint the occasion with your own set of Barbara Walter, Oprah, and now Donna Drake pair of chairs. I love these. So David, you came up with the concept not just of our other beautiful set pieces, but these are your custom design. Absolutely, these were designed for you in mind. I originated this beautiful laminate from a previous project that I worked on. I said, I want to repurpose this in a, in a very special way. And when you called, it came to mind and let alone, voila, we have a pair of beautiful chairs uh, complemented by this beautiful fuchsia fabric, generously sponsored by Thibaut. Tebow must love me because I love them. I, I love mean, them too. <laughs> <laughs> we get so many compliments um, when people sit on the furniture because it's just so well made. The fabric is so luxurious and comfortable, durable. It's just chic. I love it. Well, love when, it. Well, des when designing for the show or, or uh, you know, hospitality or commercial, I take all of those elements into into play when I'm designing. So you, you have to have comfort, but you also have to have support and posture all ready for the camera, as you already know. Now you drew these, you actually sketched this all out. Right. You said, I want th this to be this high, I want these arms to go this way, I want the laminate to flow this way. Absolutely. What I wanted to do is have a chair that was universally comfortable for you and a six foot Ball, you know, plus football player that can keep, you know, come in here and lounge and have a conversation with you. So we have some width, we have depth and support. Love it. Now you have your own brand. Yes, I you do. You are you. So tell us about that. Well, Casa, my, my, the name of my, of my business is Casa Santi Interior Design. It's a full service interior design firm. We do complete projects uh, from beginning to end. And also we do renovations. We do historical renovations. And now more importantly, I'm getting involved with product design and which I recently trademarked my Strictly Santi brand to be able to work uh, with various types of companies, whether it's lighting, textiles, upholstery, so forth. It's a trademark. Furniture. Furniture. It's, a, it's an umbrella brand to be universally appealing and diverse. You're always known as, was it the king of wallpaper, the prince of wallpaper, the, the something? The prince of wallpaper. Uh -huh. And that's uh, ba basically, um, I utilize wallpaper on every single job I do or project and uh, no one says no to me. So I just have this affinity for royalty and I anointed <laughs> myself as the Prince of Wallpaper. It was kind of an ode to the Prince of Chintz, Mario Boada, for, back in the day when I got started. Lovely. You have been all over the world and you curate things from all over, inspiration. Each time you meet with a new client, what are you bringing to the table? Is it a quietness? Is it, what is it about working with you that makes it so magical? Well, ultimately, my work defines my client. Okay. But what I bring to the table are my experiences, my journeys, um, as I infuse it in to all of my projects. But you, the, the way I work as a designer is who is my client? What, what are they looking for? What do they need? How do I define the task at hand? For example, you are my client so to speak. Who is Donna Drake <laughs> at her 10th anniversary? Who are, who are we you know, proposing she is at this phase in her life? And voila, this is what we curated for you. Thank you. And um, it defines you. Sure, it's a lot of my flavor, but ultimately it's Donna Drake, the Donna Drake show, the Donna Drake set. <laughs> and I, because, you know, part of me is fun, right? So part of me is like, all right, David, I can do this in this chair. Exactly, I can do and this so in can this I. <laughs> and that's what these chairs are about, you know? They're playful <laughs> and they're beautiful and they're functional. Um, we have a really great time together. I'm so excited about one thing, though, that I just want to touch upon. Your music. There's something big that's happening. You're going to be singing. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yes, yeah, something <laughs> big is happening. I just uh, got confirmed for Carnegie Hall. January 10th, 2020. Lovely. And it's been a long time coming. And, um, you know, I planted that seed a couple of years back in my head that I wanted to, you know, have a concert there. And through the powers that be and the opera gods and everyone above and, and everyone that I work here on earth work with, it, it happened. And I can't wait. I'm feeling blessed. 
It's going to be a concert with piano, and right now we're sourcing, you know, either a trio or a quintet of strings and accompaniment, and beautiful arias and instrumental pieces, and some culture and education for a night in New York City. Lovely. How are you um, doing the music selection? How many pieces? Like, how, how does that work? What's that process? The process is difficult because okay. you want to present a good program of music. Not too long, not too short. You want melodic pieces. At least that's what I want to present. And more importantly, I want to sing music I love mm. and love to listen to and not be serenaded to sleep in a concert, which often happens in the opera world. It's the best night you'll ever, best sleep you'll ever have. Um, but I wanna just capitalize and, on, on music that I've loved to sing throughout the years and get to share it with the audience, with friends, family, colleagues, and the public, because it is going to be open to the public. I cannot wait, I'm yeah. so excited about that. Rule of thumb, when do you know that you need an interior designer compared to just trying to pull together a look yourself? I think that's a million dollar question. Okay. Because more so than not, people attempt to do things themselves and you need that professional eye. I think in all aspects of life, you know, I go to people that do what they do better than I do. Mm. I could assume the role, but you know, you go to the specialist, go to uh, the professional that does what they do, look at their aesthetic and what they need, or see if their personality matches yours. And it's not always about an entire project. It may just be, I'm having a problem with this space in my home. I need, to, I need some help making decisions. And not wait till you ordered something online and it comes through the door and it doesn't fit and go, oops, oops. or I picked the wrong colors or the wrong lighting and so forth. Just make an investment in yourself by hiring a professional, just in the, in the in the basic as aspects of, of design. You know, whether it's an old project or a new project or infusing, um, you know, decorative elements to it, hire a professional. Love you know, that. if I'm thinking of a TV show now, I think of Donna Drake. Aww. What would Donna Drake do? <laughs> and that's how, oh, I, I, like that's that. how I see it. Thank you. Um, because this is your platform. And you know what I want to do? What? I want to dance. Fine. Chris Rubin, you're going to dance with me a little yeah, Rubin we'll Let's get the band going. Okay. Hey, let's band. David and I want to dance. Let's knock it out. Knock it out the park, guys. <laughs>